Hi ho, everybody! Welcome to the Figgity Bitches Bigger Show. Bruce has got his own intro now. This is fantastic. Hi All right, everybody. you. Everybody, welcome to the Figgity Bitches Show. Right now, Bruce, I'm with it. What do you want? Now, what the hell is 60 Minutes doing wasted all that valuable money on that studded dog's collar that you've been talking about? I could use that collar on my blue boy. Mm-hmm. He could do with that. He could maybe, we could put, maybe we could put the dog collar around you. Oh, well, I could put it on my red heel or on my blue, boy, blue heel. Either one could make use of a damn good collar on that, but mm-hmm. I can't afford a bloody collar. Now, what I'm on about is this 60 Minutes mob. Yes. These little buggers are playing silly buggers again like they always do when they're short of a story. What they do is they get these uh, unknown professional young actors, say, right I'll put a dog's collar on you, miss. I'm going to get you to play the role of a person Bruce, disillusioned with life. Bruce, You'll tell them Bruce, what you're Bruce, Bruce I have to tell you that I think you are brain dead. Do you know that? I want you to go to Canberra Hospital tomorrow and I want them to do a test on your brain because I really don't think, Bruce, that you have a brain at all. And I think it would be a great experiment for mankind if you went along to Canberra Hospital and they did a test on you just to find out if they've got some sort of brain in there. But unfortunately, a lit for Jerks like you have got no idea what is going on in life because you're a card-carrying member of the Communist Party. You've never worked in your life. You've never owned anything in your life. And you've been jealous of everybody else in this country who has some sort of shares, some sort of life and some sort of money. And you're a bitter and twisted person. And you're mad as well. <laughs> I'm coming in your life. <laughs> you could never laugh that good, Bruce. <laughs> bloody idiot cactus head. Go on, bloody shame, you bloody cactus head, cactus face. And you might bloody educate yourself. And stop farting on your chair. Oh, beautiful, Bruce. On that note, I think we'll finish it there. I think we can only go so far. But listen, thank you very much. Do call again and please, you know, keep on taking the medicine for God's sake.